So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, right, which in this case we have a circle and a triangle, right, so both of those things are at play here, um, I'm going to call a diagram question. So let's read the question and then let's follow the diagram strategy, which is to label the diagram with any given information along with any other relevant information that we can figure out based upon what was given. So we're told here that O is the center of the circle, right? So that's the center. And the perimeter of triangle ROS is 6, so P equals 6. So we know that perimeter just means the sum of all of these sides added up, right? OR, RS, and OS. We add those all up. So what do we know about this shape that hasn't been given to us? Well, I know, and hopefully you can see as well, that OR and OS are congruent to each other because they're both radii, right? The distance from the center to the edge of a circle is called a radius. Therefore, OR must be equivalent to OS. Now, whenever I have a triangle, right? Now I'll just draw one over here. Whenever I have a triangle where two sides are equal, that's called an isosceles triangle. For an isosceles triangle, the two angles opposite of those sides must also be equal. So that means that we know that this angle here at R is congruent to this angle here at S. All three angles in a right triangle must add up to 180. We already have 60 here as a central angle, which tells us that these angles here must also be 60, right? So we have 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees, which technically means that we have not just an isosceles triangle, but in fact, this is an equilateral triangle, okay? All three sides are the same. Now that becomes very important because we know the perimeter is equal to six. So if all three sides are equal and the perimeter is equal to six, that means each of these sides is equal to two. And let me just put this into the actual shape. So this is 2, 2, and 2. Okay, so now that I've labeled everything I can, the question says quantity A is the, circ the circumference of the circle. Well, how do we find the circumference of a circle? The formula is, is a 2 pi r. So I'm going to say, well, that's 2 pi r, we know, is the radius, which is equal to 2, which makes this 4 pi, which makes this 4 times 3.14. You have a calculator um, given on the screen for this test which I, I'm not showing here. So we know that this is going to be like 12 point you know, something, right? I'm going to say 12 point something, okay? But quantity B is just 12, which means that quantity A must be larger than quantity B.